Hey, Azaz Mac here, um, and today I'm going to be showing you all the touch gestures on Mountain Lion. There's only a few new ones, but I'm going to go ahead and go through all of the touch gestures that I use uh, on my Mac. Um, if you guys don't already know, my Mac is the late 2011, so it is other than the new MacBook Pro, the, the newest. Um, and the new MacBook Pro, I'm talking about the one without the DVD drive. The one that no one should go buy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start with what's new, and that would be Notification Center. Um, sorry I can't actually show you when I'm doing it. I don't have a camera. Hopefully, I will be able to invest in one. Oh, sorry, that's Launchpad. Notification Center. So, this one's a real interesting one. It starts from off the screen, and you're going to go and go on. And it's going to bring your notification center, and to send it back, you just do the opposite. Um, I'm not sure if you can change the placement of notification center. I don't believe you can, though. Okay, then the rest are going to be the same. Uh, swipe between pages if I'm on something like Facebook. going to be a two finger swipe to go back and forth. Nice and simple. Um, we're going to have swipe between full screen, three fingers or four fingers. Right now mine's set at four fingers because I messed something up but I usually use three fingers. So that's just four fingers or three fingers left and right. Vision control is a swipe up with four fingers or three fingers. It reveals all your desktops, your dashboard, and everything you have open on your um, that specific desktop you're looking at. Expose is four or three fingers down. It's going to show every window in the app you're in. So say I'm in Safari and I have a few windows open like it shows in this picture. It's just going to show me those ones. Launchpad is going to be five fingers or, yeah, four fingers or five fingers scooping in. It's generally just four. Um, show desktop is going to be the opposite. You're going to go out with four fingers. Scroll to zoom, pretty general. You're going to grab from up to down to scroll up and then down to up. It's not very intuitive at first, but when you get used to it, it's pretty normal. Pinch to zoom, pretty general, same as iPad, iPhone, um, smart zoom, which is a double tap. I'm not sure if it'll, it, yeah, I won't do it here, but I can do it on something like Safari. Um, so there's that double Bye tap. Everyone. No tap. Alright, let's go back here, smart zoom, rotate, pretty general, point and click, tap to click, I always use tap to click because I don't like having to click, I, I don't, I don't know, um, secondary click, I always use two fingers, I don't know, you can use bottom right corner, bottom left corner, so you can change that up, look up, tap with three fingers, we'll look up a word or something like that. So, if I'm over here, and I want to more look up this, just tap with three fingers, and it looks up. It's not, I used to be double tap, and they changed it to single tap, so remember that. And then you can adjust your track's pad speed. That goes over all of the touch gestures. Um... That's generally it. Oh, there's a three finger drag, which I don't use because it messes everything else up, but you can do three finger drag, which is, lets you drag a window around with three fingers around the trackpad. Um, in this video, I also wanted to go over why iOS or why Lion, uh, Mountain Lion didn't include the Facebook features. And the reason why they didn't do that is because 
iOS 6 is what's going to be controlling all the Facebook features for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So um, there'd be a little gap in software there, so they're going to wait till they can release both at the same time, that way there's not an empty hole between two machines, because as Apple has always said, they want things to mesh together just right, and if they're doing that, then things aren't going to be meshing together as they like. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, send me a question. Send me a uh, video response. Send me anything. Um, an idea for a new video. I'm always open to make new videos. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Or you'll see me next time.